Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. I just woke up myself. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my day two progression of the RF jug, but also again, more so some tips uh, and kind of how I'm progressing and what I prioritize. Uh, so we've gotten some huge upgrades, got really, really lucky. Three big pieces in particular. Uh, I'm going to show them, then we're going to go run a T16 map. Um, yet again, somehow on this character, we have not died. And I believe me, I am going face first into a lot of shit. <laughs> so, all right, uh, starting up with the helmet, I got pretty lucky on this helmet base. So following my guide, item level 82 plus armor based helmet. Um, I bought myself Essence of Horror because they're really cheap on League Start. <clears throat> and I actually one tapped my helmet. One tapped implying I used one Essence of Horror. I got burn damage. I got a sick cold res. Uh, it guaranteed 30% more Ellie. So what I'm going to do when I get some more currency is I'm going to go into the advanced step, which is basically going to be suffixes cannot be changed. So prevent any of my suffixes from being changed and then veiled chaos. And then the goal is to unveil plus two AOE and craft life to get the life modifier back. Not super important right now. Uh, trap and mind support, combustion, fire trap and life tap over here. I bought myself a glorious plate that was six linked. I don't remember how much it was. I think maybe 50 chaos. Um, then I proceeded to just throw whatever I had at my chest piece, scour out it, chaos it a little bit. Um, ideally, you know, go with an armor energy shield base because it is way easier to chrome. So after getting some mediocre rolls like this, I kind of just wanted to play. So uh, I went over to my bench to do uh, one blue here. And actually got lucky and got the perfect colors um i assumed i was gonna get like blue blue green red 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 after like 100 chromes and i think i was gonna try to use less duration instead of efficacy uh, i do believe that works because of the life tap tag um you know what actually let me just check to confirm here it should work really fast this is something i don't ever really think of but i do believe it works so if i take out my burn damage and i look at my rf it's uh, 198 put this on it is Okay, so yeah, that does actually work. That's not a bad idea. Uh, so that way, instead of spending an extra God knows how much currency, you can just use less duration instead of efficacy. And unless you're in a Vol RF setup, which most of you guys are not, it's, it's just good. Okay, and then the last one, I spent four divines on my Legacy of Fury. Uh, some things to note about Legacy of Fury, not a big deal, but every 10% effective Scorch should be an extra minus one res. Um, I could totally be wrong here, so... I think you want to buy on breakpoints and again at the beginning it doesn't matter just buy whatever pair right but if you want to get the most out of your currency try to go for like a 40 percent scorch or a 50 percent scorch i think all right um other than that i think most of the upgrades of weapon is the exact same shield is the exact same uh gloves i ended up buying fractured gloves for like 40c and i spam them with some chaos essences um just to pretty much get my chaos resistance up so i don't die in this youtube video for this foundry map yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember, everything, you want to know how I'm making currency? It's almost all through Expedition. Everything is done live on my stream, so you can go check it out. Let us go run a tier 16 map. Uh, oh, and we also gained our two Void Stones. Um, so now we're working on Atlas completion, leveling, and then Maven and Uber Elder. I would say I'm still focusing on my 21 gems. I'm still focusing on, um, uh, let's see, what else am I focusing on? Uh, so I want to get my 21 gems. At some point, I'm going to go for awakened gems. I want to recraft my body armor to have more armor. There's like a lot of potential upgrades for me to go for still. Let's see. I would like to get the determination effect on my body armor instead of malevolence effect. A lot of people ask me why I'm not doing the league mechanic every single map, and that's mainly because I don't really want to pick up white base. Like, sometimes I will, but every single map I don't want to pick up a white base, have the white base sit right here, and then, you know, do it two times, get the skill tree, and then inevitably 90% of the tree is going to be kind of trash anyway. I want to save that for my SSF experience, personally. I think it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. In Trade League, I kind of just want to, like, blast, sort of. Uh, also, for people who are leveling somewhat similar at my pace, or are a little bit more experienced, I do have a new loot filter, which is working on hiding majority of stuff in the game. You can find that on my filter. It should be labeled as Endgame. 
I'm also getting ready to uh, redo my skill tree so that I drop Call to Arms. The purpose of Call to Arms, a lot of newer players get confused on this. And not even newer players, but even experienced players. The reasoning I use Call to Arms is in the early game, you know, RF doesn't do the most damage. But because it doesn't do the most damage, I like to really lean on the Infernal Cry for the juicy clear. Once I get like Legacy of Fury and, you know, a 21 RF, maybe Awaken Ink AoE, in general, when the build is feeling a lot more oomph and you can kind of just run through packs, right? That's when I like to save those two skill points uh, and respec it and go into the other parts of the tree, essentially. Booyan. Okay, and this is how we make majority of our currency. Now, I'm not the best expedition player by any means, nor do I even know a lot of the secrets on it, but I will tell you what I do. It's called Go Fast So You Can Go Again. So this says logbooks. I want logbooks. Actually, it doesn't even say logbooks. I'm drunk. It just says pack size. Uh, but that's okay. That's good enough for me, too. That sounds cool. So I'm going to click the pack size. Monster's Poison. My Chaos Res is okay. Also, I'm running Shakira, or sorry, Arakali. So I'm actually good against Poison. Uh, this has number of rare monsters with pack size, so I'm going to grab both of those. Uh, down over here, monsters are always crits. That's actually kind of scary, but uh, let's do it anyway. Uh, okay, moving in. If you touch this, monsters overwhelm, you die. Don't ever touch that as a jug. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab everything over here. Um, then we're going to grab... You want to make sure you're always grabbing these skull dudes here. These, that's like one of the most important things. And I believe that's pretty much everything except for this. So let's go ahead and tap that. So now what I like to do is just double check. So there's no overwhelm, um, no fire immunity. So I click this, take a portal back. The reasoning for portaling back is I personally feel safer with all the mobs. I know that seems weird. Just all the mobs are hitting in the same direction and I can just weave out of the way. I usually will run a phasing flask at this point. I'm just too lazy to switch my stuff. So vendor that. I like to get my next map rolled here. So it would be this malformation. Looks okay. Does not, uh, uh, still okay. Yeah, boss speed is a little annoying on this one because she spins really fast. It's uh, piety, I think. Right, okay. And now we go in, pop all of our flasks. Uh, I'm going to charge into that pack there and Infernal Cry. That's what Infernal Cry does. If you don't have Call to Arms there, your character will stand still. And you will probably die with the 400 mobs hitting where your character's direction was, right? Or where your character was. So that's part of the reason on Call to Arms as well. When you have a phasing flask, you can kind of just like walk through them and it's not nearly as bad. No logbook, but still nice currency. Huyen always pays off. Oh, hey, look, Quartz Flask. <laughs> I gotta turn on Gold Gems in the filter, I think. The new breach is pretty nice to be honest like it's way more dense for sure it is a lot more dense all right that's pretty much a map so hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all later.